guys, what is up? Welcome to Real Life Aaron. This is Real Life. I am Aaron and I'm walking around New Zealand right now. Um, today was pretty awesome. We went white water rafting. Here's some photos of that. All right, next morning. White water rafting. And actually it was pretty scary because there was one point where the boat tipped. There was about 10 boats all went down the same stream um, and our boat actually flipped, which was kind of crazy. It was on the highest commercial waterfall you can ever raft down in the world, apparently. It's the first time I've ever white water rafted. Um, and one of the girls on our boat AXA, actually accidentally dislocated her shoulder. I was all right, luckily. Everybody else was okay, luckily. She went to hospital, got it clicked back into place. Um, while she was doing that, we went to Hobbiton, the movie set, which you can see now. Um, and I thought, well, no, but it, but this opportunity to actually have a Hobbiton there now, Peter wanted to do Hobbiton proper. And so we were using real wood and real slate and real materials that were going to be. I'm very, very pleased that you're able to take the time to go visit our set. It's great when you're making a movie, everything is so temporary. The film survives, but the sets and the costumes and the props that you make, they, they all just get thrown away. And so, I'm delighted that Hobbiton has managed to survive and I'm really pleased that you're taking the time to visit it and I hope that you enjoy yourself. Hobbiton movie set. Never seen a film, but it's pretty cool here. I had to get my Nando's fix. I definitely got it. it. Tasted so good. A little bit different to how it operates in the UK, but the chicken was just as good. Okay, we're about to kick this day off in style. We're doing a bit of lugeing, which is like go-kart. It's like a gravity go-kart. You take the gondola up and you go-kart back down. I'm hoping I can get some footage of it. They might not let me use my phone. Let's see what happens. Looks good. Yeah, that one behind us is pretty good. Yeah, you should be viewing that way. Okay, we're Lujan. This is going to be incredibly hard to film. Doing this one handed is not going to be easy. But look at this. Oh, I'm going to break. <laughs> I really can't do it. Guys, I don't have my GoPro and I really can't film this one handed. So, yeah, this is Lujan. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, round the bend we go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hard 
Give us a wave. <laughs> oh, caught up. Catching you up. Coming for you. Dinosaurs. Bye. <laughs> It's a fire! Sorry. <laughs> the volcanoes are up Far thing. out! It's far, it is far out actually. It's far out. Far out. Far out over that one. Right, okay. <laughs> the around the area. Uh, we have resin, bronze, greenstone, bone. So these are some of the parts of the schools that we're going to see when we go over towards the Arts and Crafts Centre. Uh, we've been operating through the geothermal for about 130 years. This is only the beginning stages. Pass, pass this around to the group and I'm um, actually trying. Honestly, you won't break the string. It is so strong. Give it a go. Don't be shy. You won't break it. I'll be impressed if you do. See, can you see how the flax is extracted? It's strong. There's the rope there. We certainly know how to multitask in a lot of things. So just simply scraping in between each alternative line and that will make, as you can see, the pattern. So we're going to join, we're going to join two together to give the skirt more body. And what we do there is just simply part the fibres and roll it down the bare legs. So rolling it down, Bring it back up and it forms a two ply, just like what you see. Wow. Yeah, I know it is a real moment. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Okay. Once you get your photographs, the name of the guys is the big one there. It's called Bohu Two. This is the geyser. Translated meaning the big spot. My fan, I come with me. I'll get you a better view with everyone's head. So these are the geysers that have been created by the volcanoes. So cool, so so cool. And this one over here is erupting. To function, geysers need a water supply, a heat source, and natural plumbing system of rock that can withstand high pressure. Sunday after a big night. Ah, this 
waterfall into like an Olympic sized swimming pool in just 11 seconds. Look at that. You wouldn't want to go white water after than that. All right, out there's a chance to win ten thousand bucks. Hole in one. Do you want to give it a go? Go again. <laughs> How did that go? Yeah, somewhere over there. <laughs> and then I'll just wait a few moments till these trees in front of us move away. But if you have a look to the left, once these trees disappear, there's two mountains, two volcanoes over that way. So the one that looks like a cone, the highest one over there to the left, that is Mount Narahui. Bless you, Narahui. Mm. Yeah, so that one was used as Mount Doom during the Lord of the Rings movies with a little bit of CGI. And our lovely friends who are doing the hike are hiking the mountain to the left. It is now some days later to where you're up with on the vlogs. We are currently on the coach. What you're watching now, we're currently on the coach to Wellington. I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm just catching up on a lot of vlog things like that. We're super busy, don't have time to edit the vlogs. I just need to film things where I can and when I can, fit them all in. And that's why I'm sort of like narrating the vlogs to you sometimes a bit as well. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for this vlog, guys. Super, super action-packed activity overload on this vlog and trust me it's going to get better because you're going to see me do something incredible which means going up in a plane and jumping out of it i think you know what's coming anyway guys thank you for watching this one always remember dream big and work hard